Hello, good afternoon, and thank you for joining me. We're live on the Trade Decorator Festival, and this afternoon I've got a session with Purdy. Um, Purdy are launching two new products into the UK market, and we're going to be taking a sneaky peek at these products. One is the Purdy Painter's Backpack, and the other is the Purdy Pail. Now, before we take a look at the products, um, I just want to say a hello to everybody watching over on Facebook. If you do want to come and join us, we are launching a competition in the session today where you can um, win one of the Purdy Painters backpacks that are going to be launched this summer. Now, if you do win this prize, it will be sent out to you in May once the products are available in the UK. Um, so let's take a look at the um, products and then we're going to have an interview with Andy Cummins from Purdy. I met with him a little earlier this week to find out more about the products. Hi guys, so that was the um, demo on the new Purdy Backpack and Purdy Pail that are launching later this year. Um, I'm now joined by Andy Cummins from Purdy. Um, we met a little later this week um, to put some questions to Andy about the new products um, and find out when they're going to be uh, with us here in the UK. Hi Andy, how are you? Hello Paula, I'm really good thank you. Thanks for the opportunity to talk to you today. No problem. Thank you for joining us. Um, so what was the thought process behind the development of Purdy's Painter's Backpack? So the, the initial thing that kicked it all off was we realised that um, the pro decorators don't have storage solutions that are designed for them at the moment. They generally borrow solutions for other trades like um, joiners or uh, electricians and that there hasn't been one that's been designed for their needs. So what we did was we uh, went out, did some research, spoke to them, and really found out what they wanted um, from a storage solution, um, and then went back to them a second time with prototypes to validate what we'd done and really um, come up with a, a finished solution that's really been designed by the pros for the pros. 
Well, it looks really useful what you've come up with. Um, I mean, what's the backpack manufactured from to ensure that it's robust enough for the job to, you know? Yeah. Crucial, that's crucial. Longevity is <laughs> with Purdy, quality is, is crucial. Um, it's, it's manufactured from a very, very durable uh, weather resistant fabric. Um, there's heavy duty metal handles and grips. Um, there's very rugged zippers. Um, there's a detachable pouch um, that you can use for transporting wet brushes and wet rollers to keep the main compartments clean. Um, so it's all been designed to, to last well and to, um, yeah, to really help pro decorators productivity. So um, <laughs> what exactly can the backpack carry, Andy? Um, short hours polar is that it can carry carry everything. There's two main large pockets. One that's been designed for your roller frames, your roller sleeves, also additional things like tubes of cork, sandpapers, blocks, things like that. Uh, and there's a second large compartment that's been designed for all of your prep tools and scrapers, um, and also all of your brushes as well. There's multiple brush um, pockets inside that you can use to keep yourself organised. There's um, the wet pouch I talked about before. So when you when you've used a brush separate a completely separate um pouch that you can keep wet rollers and wet brushes in um there's on the top there's like a soft line pocket for things like safety glasses there's extra pockets for um, personal items wallets and phones there's additional side pockets um there's also compartments on the side put extension poles water bottles there's an external usb slot so if you have a battery power pack you can you can charge your phone from the outside so not having to to go inside to the rack sack um, there's clips and um, compartments for pens and notebooks. Uh, the list, the list really does go on. It's a very, very thorough um, piece of kit. So, I mean, that's really extensive. And we saw on the video, you know, you can put virtually every tool in there. Um, what stop if I've got that full of all of my tools? What's going to stop that from being uncomfortable? So again, a lot of thoughts been put into that. There's big heavy duty padded straps. There's a waistband, there's a chest strap to again, support the load. There's um, padded sections on the back of the rack sack as well to make it more comfortable to, to lift. There is um, rubber feet on the bottom. So again, to sort of prevent it tipping over when it's fully loaded. So it's all been designed uh, for even weight distribution to be as, as comfortable to carry as possible. Oh, brilliant. Um, and it sounds really great. And with all those pockets and sleeves and say it's all totally packed up with everything in, um, is it easy to reach? Are, are my tools easy to get to or do I have to start unpacking everything? No, it really is organised to the pockets. So in a way that, you know, everything has a place and a, and a place for everything. Also, it folds out completely flat. So when you do zip it, you can open it completely wide. So you haven't got to delve in. You can get right to the bottom, um, which is really important. So you're not rummaging through bags for tools and equipment. Um, so everything is there and visible exactly where you need it. Um, yeah. And what about, I mean, you launched this in the US first. What's the feedback been from professionals who have used the backpack? Sales in the US has been phenomenal. The feedback has been, been absolutely amazing. Um, demand has been exceptionally high. In the UK, we've been receiving requests for email, by phone, by social media. Uh, we know that um, the pros have been eagerly waiting for this, and we really, really do appreciate their enthusiasm for it. And we're, we're super excited to launch this later in the year and to gain the feedback from, uh, from our customers on this side of the Atlantic. OK, so with all the excitement from everybody wanting to get hold of this, now that you've shown everybody what's coming, um, when can we expect to be able to, to buy it in stores? So we have we have stock shipping over as we speak. Uh, it should be with us in Q2 this year, and then we'll be then selling and distributing them as soon as we can after they come into stock. Oh, fantastic. OK, Andy, so the other product that we saw in the video um, was the new Purdy Pail. What sets that product, that pail, apart from other decorators or painters' buckets that are available on the market now already? So again, with this one, Paula, it's, it's been about some research that we conducted into the market, what people wanted. Um, we found traditional paint pails and kettles. Of, they're quite, they've been quite basic, and we've, we've added some extra features into this to make them easier to use, um, to reduce fatigue, and, and really to increase productivity of uh, decorators uh, when they're on the job. So, OK, then, how have you made the pail easier to handle if you've moved away from um, traditional materials and um, designs? 
Uh, well, what, one of the key things here is really to have um, multi-grip options and, and really to avoid uh, fatigue when you're carrying your around all day. Uh, we've got a, a, a coffee cup style grip that's made out of a soft rubber that adjusts to accommodate different sizes of hands. Um, increasingly important with the number of uh, female decorators we're seeing joining the industry. Um, there's also uh, a flexible bail handle, which is ideal if you're working up a ladder. Use a ladder hook. Uh, it keeps your hands free then to work safely as well. Um, and OK, Andy, how did you overcome the issue of what to do with wet brushes and rollers? Uh, right. So when you're working with the rollers, uh, it, it accommodates up to a four and a half inch mini roller frame. Um, there is uh, a hook which you can hook on the, the top of the, the, the edge of the pail um, to hold it up. There's also built inside. There's also a mini roller rest, which, again, you can rest your roller on, stops it from dropping down into the paint and getting covered in paint. There's also uh, a grid built into the into the wall of the pail, so you can use that to uh, to load your rollers. When it comes to the brushes, there's a, a brush magnet which which um, attaches to the ferrule and clips the paint, clips the paint, keeps the brush out of the paint uh, on the side of the pail for easy access, and again to stop it dropping down into the paint and getting soaked. Oh yeah, I saw the um, magnet on the video. It looked really good. Andy, it sounds really interesting. You've got all these new features on the Purdy pail, um, but with the bucket, how easy is it going to be to clean with all these new features? Yeah, thanks Paula. The, the bucket itself is very easy to clean. Um, what we also offer as an addition is uh, packs of liners. Now these are molded exactly the same shape as the as the pail themselves. So you, you keep all the features of the pail itself when you use them, um, but it allows you to make quick color changes. And also if you haven't got water on site to be able to clean up quickly on the end of the day to get home. Oh, perfect. Well, thanks for joining us and telling us all about the new products that you're launching later this year. And guys, keep a lookout in your local decorator centre, because I'm sure you'll be dying to get your hands on these new products. Andy, thanks ever so much for joining us today. Um, and I hope to speak to you again soon um, about other products coming from Purdy. Thank you, Paula. It's been great fun. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Um, it, I'm glad that you could all join this afternoon and um, we'll see you all, all soon. Thank you. Bye bye. So there you have it. That's two brand new products from Purdy um, launching in the UK in the summer. Uh, you heard it here first on the Trade Decorator Festival. These products, the Purdy um, Backpack and the Purdy Painter's Pail, um, are going to be available from the summer. Um, and I'm sure that you can't wait to get your hands on them. Now we have got um, a Purdy Painter's Backpack to give away in our competition. Um, as we've said all along, these products are only available in the summer, so our winner will receive the product in May when they're available in the UK. Um, so I'll pop a button up in the session, just hang on and um, wait for that button to appear, and then you can click on there and enter our competition. I'm also going to pop a link up. We've got one more day of events tomorrow. Oh, I'm so sad we're going to be finished. Um, no, we have got one more day of exciting events for you. And if you've not registered for those yet, then I'll make sure I make it nice and easy. You can click on there, register for tomorrow's sessions. And then all of the sessions that we've done since Monday, the 15th of February are also available to watch as a replay. You just register exactly